Hello friends, welcome back to the part 2 of the video series on Elasticsearch with Docker. In the previous video, we have started our Elasticsearch engine using Docker Compose YAML file. And you can check the Elasticsearch engine is running or not using localhost at the port 9200. If I run this, I'll see the information that the Elasticsearch engine is running. Now, in this video, we will create new index and inside that index, we will insert some documents and then we will search some keywords into that document and find the document based on the keyword matching. In order to follow this tutorial, I insist you install Postman so that we can easily interact with the Elasticsearch API. And please go to this link. The link is in the description of this video. And this is the official uh, repository of Elasticsearch. And under example, we have a recipe search Java example. We are not going to use Java, but we are going to surely use the data. So let's get started. Since our Elasticsearch engine is running, we can go directly to Postman. Under Postman, you can create a new collection. And inside the collection, when the collection is created, you can create a new request. So these are the requests. I have already created to demo. So the first one is create index. This will create a new index on Elasticsearch engine. Let me give the name, let's say uh, recipe search. Now this request have some body with this request we can pass a body this body contains information regarding the index most critical information regarding the index that you cannot change once the index is created that is number of shards now number of shards are kind of uh, agent that looks around the node for the information when you hit a search query so you know it's not advisory to have a huge number for shards cause it will load the elastic search engine with unnecessary shards running and you know a very low number is also not suggested but you can start with five or seven or ten the second information is number of replicas that you can change afterwards once the index is, is created. In any case, if you want to use this elastic search engine to search a dense vector inside the documents, in that case, you must provide mappings and mappings must have your vector name and the type which is dense and the dimension. So make sure this dimension is the same that you want to store the array with. Otherwise, it will throw errors. So this body is just for the information, but we don't need it. So I will remove that. Let me hit the send button. So it will send this request to our local host 9200, which is our Elasticsearch engine. Yeah, so it has acknowledged true and SAR acknowledged true as well. And index is created with the name recipe search. If we go to, let's say, see the mappings, since we have not provided any mappings, it will show empty mappings at this point. 
mappings is a kind of you you can say a uh, structure of the database where id is let's say integer username is uh, where care and stuff like that so mapping resembles the same thing database has okay so we have created our index now let's insert a document into the Elasticsearch engine so the URL to insert a new document is your host name followed by index name followed by underscore document and this will accept a body so if I send something it will turn into an error it says request body is required so let's send the request body let me create this document this is a banana oatmeal cookie recipe so let me provide this here and when when I'll hit send button it will create a document now let me create a quick two three documents okay let me create just one more for this demonstration purpose okay so we have created three documents we can get the count of total document here let me add a new request let's say get document count uh, that will be request our URL followed by index name underscore count so you can see we have three documents now let's for uh, sake of understanding let's see the mappings again if I go here now we have mappings so when you insert a document and if you have not provided the mappings it will extract the mappings from the document itself now let's search the documents so the URL for searching a document is again your host name followed by index name followed by underscore search if I hit this it will show all the documents you can see we have hits which has total value of 3 if you provide a kind of a body which is a query in that case you can exactly search the document with relevant information for more information on search you can go to official API documentation of Elasticsearch and there you can go to the search section okay there are different kind of search okay so this is uh, uh, one of the easiest uh, search let's say let me test this now this message will be the field that you want to search so let's say we search the recipes by title and let's uh, let's say the title includes a word cookie my bad cookie so let me hit send you can see we got the search which has title and it includes the word cookie you can try another way banana you can see we got the results 
so this is the very basic search query and you can learn more about the different kind of search query here in the official documentation the postman collection i have used here is in the description you can find it there i hope you have gained some knowledge from this video see you in the last part of the series on elastic search engine peace